For dove hunters this year, I don't see any reason to be anything other than optimistic. We've got some great dove fields across the state. The breeding bird survey is showing the dove uh, populations in good shape. Uh, Fish and Wildlife Service has just shifted to a new uh, harvest strategy for doves. So I think given the strong population, the good habitat we've got on the ground, on the wildlife management areas across the state, uh, I just see a good year coming up for our state dove hunters. So Fish and Wildlife Service has allowed us to have now a 90 day dove season. That's up 20 additional days from last year's 70 days. The bag limit remains at 15. And those additional days through public opinion data and public input that we got through various channels, emails, phone calls, etc., those extra 20 days have been added to the middle split and have been added to the end of the season. Last year we had about 48,000 dove hunters in Georgia harvest about 850,000 birds. And that is up a little bit from 2012. And that data, of course, is gathered through the HIP program, the Harvest Information Program. So I encourage all of our migratory bird hunters to remember to get that HIP stamp, answer those questions. That's the best source of data that we can get uh, for some of our uh, harvest of birds, which includes the ducks, the doves, all the migratory game birds. For dove hunters who've planned ahead and applied for those quota hunts, Dye Lane, Clybell, and Rum Creek usually are really good areas. Uh, lots of diversity in what's planted there. Sometimes there's a mixture of sorghum or winter wheat or brown top millet, corn, sunflowers, any number of things that may be there. But those three areas in particular have done really well in the past on those quota days that are early in the season. For dove hunters that want to take some youth with them this year, maybe consider J.L. Lester if you're in the northern part of the state, or the Walton Public Dove Field in Walton County right near our headquarters. Always a great time for the parents or the adults and the kids that are there. For those hunters that weren't selected on the quota or maybe didn't get their application turned in in time, Crockford Pigeon Mountain in the northern part of the state, Joe Kerr's in the middle area, or Elmadale if you're a little bit farther south are all good, good choices. If you weren't picked on those quota areas, remember a lot of those places, they may be quota on the first Saturday or maybe the first two, but then they're open to everybody later in the season. So there should be plenty of opportunity near you Check the website, check the hunting regulations book, find the nearest dove field, find the open date, find a hunting partner, go have a good time.